Here's the mist heads. These heads, these are little bodies. This is a two inch head. In other words, this pops up two inches. This lift ring is just a lift ring. There's no nozzle on this yet. This sprinkler head is still waiting to know what I'm going to do. If I'm going to do a half circle or what. Comes in a two inch, three inch, four inch. Now it's nice, the higher these come, the more they get over the grass. This is a six inch. Now these, old, these come all the way up to 12 inches. So I can come up past my, um, past my daylilies and I can throw water over the garden. So there's different ways of doing this. Now these are just, the water comes in the side or the bottom. These shorter ones, the water just comes in the bottom. The heads that these use come in a lot of patterns. The most popular is a half. This is a 15H. So it's thought is it goes seven and a half feet away from my house and it does a half. This is a H. This is a half circle. It comes in a Q. It's obviously, it's, it's not obviously, it does a quarter. Seven and a half feet. The 15 stands for how far is the gross distance. That's a 15H. This is a 15Q, but really it's only going seven and a half feet. And that's on a good day. You don't count on it being that right to the bitter end. You usually put another head so it overlaps. So you don't go 15 feet between heads. It comes in a, um, a Q, comes in a variable. The, the 15 VAR, I can adjust it from a sliver incrementally all the way up to just about a full. So it go all the way around. So it's a 15 VAR and it's adjustable, kind of cool. So I can do just this area or I can do this whole area. And then there also is a 15 F and it's just a full 15 foot circle. Then there's a end strip And what that does, as I talked earlier, it does a boulevard, where the boulevard is only four foot wide or so. And I can put it at the end, and it will do the end of my strip. Then I got, there's a 15 CST, which is a center strip. So I'm in my boulevard, and I can do seven feet by four feet from the center of a boulevard. And then there's a 15 SST, and that stands for side strip, and that means the head goes here and it goes this way. So knowing that you can get heads in mist heads that do all these different patterns, as you're planning around your house, a lot of times I'll put a side strip head back here and I'll let it water my garden, my flowers, like that of another side strip so that way I'm never blowing water towards my house I'm always blowing water away from the house I put one here if I don't have much distance here I can do like this and water this area so you can control it there's a lot of ability that you have when you're doing this designing the system sometimes when I'm in my flower bed I need to, I need just to have some risers to come up over some evergreens or other tall plantings or some landscape stuff, yard art, and I want to get over it, I want to go out into an area. What they make is they make a head. These nozzles that you see here are a fine thread. These nozzles are not a plumbing thread, they're a fine thread. They're, they're unique to the situation. Well, when you put a nozzle in, you always drop in a filter first and then you screw on your nozzle and that prevents dirt, a couple blades of grass from getting into my nozzle, clogging the little port, ruining the pattern of my spray. So here I have a nozzle on what's called an adapter. This is a pipe adapter. Now here is half inch pipe. This happens to be in PVC, but the pipe thread is the same, whether it's PVC, copper, or galvanized plumbing, it's still half inch NPT, national pipe thread. So I can have PVC sticking up out of the ground, three foot, four foot tall, I can throw a nozzle on here, and it could be any one of the nozzles I just discussed. So I can put this up against the wall of my house, and I can blow a quarter from here or a half, and I can be as high as I want. 
I can make this out of PVC, go up eight feet to do my garden. So whatever you do, you don't always have to have a pop-up in the lawn that pops up and then squirts the lawn. You can have it so that the head is always up. You have to be careful when you do that because these are more brittle and if you have landscapers or uh, someone clumsy that's in your crew, they always trip on these and break them off. We're constantly doing repairs where we take a tool, which is an easy out, a tapered reverse threaded tool that allows me to go into this broken PVC and unthread it from the piece down in the ground where it broke off. So these tools are available very handy if you're a sprinkler guy. And the most common problem is people put too many heads on a zone. 